to all today i am going to present about full support so 26 year old female from vellu um, uh, presented with complaints of fever for past four months headache for four months and seizure uh, uh, for two, two episodes fever which was low grade intermittent associated with the evening rise of temperature associated with night sweat and headache which was holoclinical and non non pulsatile headache vomiting associated with the vomiting it was multiple episodes non bilious not blood stain and uh, two episodes of uh, gen- gtcs with the deviation of face to the right side and the uprolling of eyes and lip smacking lasting for t- t- 20 to 30 seconds and there is uh, associated constitutional symptoms like loss of weight and loss of appetite of about 15 kg since four months no history of any comorbidities uh, mother diagnosed with tb 20 years back completed add menstrual history she had a 8 months history of amenorrhea p1 l1 on examination she had drowsy gcs was 12 by 15 uh, vitals wise p bp was 90 60 uh, maintaining saturation uh, no pararictus cyanosis clubbing lymphadenopathy edema other system examination normal cns examination showing bilateral papillary edema with ptosis and bilateral facial asymmetry increased tone um with the deep tendon reflux uh, increased deep tendon refluxes power 4 by 5 by non four limbs with the plantar flexor neck stiffness presence and meningeal signs was present so case of 20, uh, 26 year old female with fever and headache for four months with multiple episodes of vomiting and seizure with neck stiffness and papillary edema with increased tone in upper and lower limb differentials we consider as subacute to chronic mental encephalitis first possibility infection tuberculosis viral parasitic or fungal infections non infectious causes like autoimmune and malignancy we found out the mm, uh, counts were under normal limits and electrolytes are normal Le- uh, liver function test showing mild deranged uh, enzymes Uh, C- crp was 9.27 and with the cs of uh, analysis showing uh, glucose of 49 initially and uh, 79 uh, mildly elevated protein with the wbc showing only four lymphocytes and two rbc sputum culture blood culture and cs of culture showing no growth mri brain was done which showed stable leptomeningeal disease along the bilateral mca with in the surface of brain stem and suprasellar cistern and the acute to subacute impact in bilateral capsulo ganglion region and the right medial temporal lobe with features associated with raised ict also and the subacute impact also present and uh, likely due to inf- infective vasculitis after that we found out expert tb pcr showing a uh, 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 mtp with rifampicin resistance on 15/4/2020 ct abdomen was done um, uh, and it also showed tubo ovarian cystic lesion with few enhancing areas and a, a borderline mesenteric lymph node and the ground glass branching nodule in both uh, lower lobe suggestive disseminated tb final diagnosis we arrived was tub- tuberculous meningitis with the multiple infected secondary to infective vasculitis disseminated tuberculosis with the rifampicin resistant with the mdr regimen started on 174223 the course of even after that was initially due to the liver enzyme elevation she was started an apatos a a a le regimen apatos att and uh, expert tb showing rifampicin resistant but sensitive to the second line and other isonic acid so she was started on bidacrylin regimen with consisting of bidacrylin uh, clofosamine cyclosporine pleofloxacin linzolid and amikacin as she uh, as she had a persistent tachycardia and prolonged qtc uh, bedaclin was stopped and uh, uh, ethambutal and uh, isoniazid was uh, added on the regimen on 35 and the plan to continue the intensive phase till 17 october and uh, followed by continuation phase of 18 months <clears throat> but after that on 28 last month on september she again presented with a one month stay of headache vomiting and blurring of vision with worsening of symptoms mri brain was again done it showed some stable previous lesion with the increased enhancement 
and uh, suggestion of disease progression and also having grass hydrocephalus she, she came with osni with a uh, previous regimen after that we found out that on further incubation in mg uh, she had a reform percent susceptibility mycobacterium tuberculosis a uh, growing culture with pan susceptible uh, mtb and the lpa also show us uh, susceptible to isoni acid and reform percent so for that we she was started an hrsc and uh, uh, she was uh, sent to neurosurgery for a, a vp shunt due to uh, hydrocephalus this we found out that expert as a reform percent resistant and mg as a pan susceptible thing lpa also she had a susceptible isoni acid and reforms there is a discordant result between expert and mg now what to what to follow which regimen to follow actually according to the current recommendations from pmdt reform percent resistance in expert mtp as uh, expert uh, expert showing a uh, uh, allowed to assume the presence of reform percent resistant if it is uh, resistance came in expert and suggest of mdr isolate and start regimen with the second line drug but uh, with reform, when reform, reform percent resistant detected in expert usually lpa to be fo followed uh, uh, lpa followed by drugs and species indicated as suggested by pmdt as a result from expert may be false positive in patient with no risk factor for drug resistant tb if a detector mtb was very low and also if the isolate is found to be susceptible to reform percent patient can be started on first line atd as advice this is on article from uh, uh, this um, uh, discordant result between uh, genotypic and phenotypic assay for a uh, detection of a uh, reform percent resistant mycobacterium tuberculosis isolate in iberdan region It was done in mexico so this retrospective analysis of all culture proven cases of uh, tb so 1623 examples are culture in which 3615 has processed for drug susceptibility in that 568 sample was tested with expert tb and 13 isolate showed a discordant result uh, with the mg and that was analyzed by after that that was analyzed by dna sequencing in that out of 13 seven had a silent mutation of a rna polymerase beta g and three isolate showed a different missense mutation and the other three showed no mutation finally if uh, while testing for drug resistant usually the, the, the dis, dis, discrepancy occur either due to silent mutation or disputed mutation or retro resistant silent mutation in rpo gene usually there is a base nucle nucleic acid base shift there is a no visible mutation but the expert will deduct it as a mutation and show it as a positive result <clears throat> and the confirmatory drug test must be done in a patient if there is a discordant re uh, result confirm uh, reform percent resistant confirmatory drug sensitivity must be done before we proceed with the uh, reform percent resistant uh, 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 second line atd and uh, usually they suggested that implementing dna sequencing in a reform percent resistant tb cases detected with the expert can be useful to uh, identify truly resistant uh, reform percent resistant uh, organisms and another thing was a uh, hetero resistant in that multiple mtb organism some will be reform percent resistant and some will be uh, reform percent sensitive that also will be detected as a reform percent resistant finally the learning point in this is drug resistant tb usually is a, still a major public health problem and a challenge for a, a challenge to treat the global estimate is usually underestimated it's usually more than 78% having confirmed mt or tb only 40% was notified and 32% was only reported to second line treatment patient with reform percent sensitive isolate when treated treated for a, a, if a false positive reform percent resistant came patient unnecessarily undergo a second line regimen with a more toxic and long duration of treatment and if a patient having truly reform percent resistant and we are giving reform percent and patient lead to treatment failure and again disease progression so early accurate diagnosis of a reform percent resistant and appropriate treatment is necessary uh, to avoid this situation
of getting a false positive rapamycin resistance is high when the yield is slow or trace very low it's very low because how we will interpret and need to actively look at the mg it will change based on i did also think that community acquired resistant tb is also very prevalent now in our population it's not just that some people get it it's coming with Since we're getting for like nine patients with severe, this patient had exposure twenty years ago. A mother, mother. It's like have you heard about the numbers? It's being faster than the family resistance. Uh, that's it. The situation looks started with the conversation. 